You guys, when it comes to the silent treatment, what worries me is people don't think it's emotionally abusive. They think if anything, it's a time off from abuse because there's a silent period. You're not hearing any words or name calling or something like this, right? But the thing, the fact remains, it is definitely emotional abuse as they sit there making you wonder, are they gonna talk to you again? They're trying to, first of all, I want you guys to understand, they're trying to manipulate and control how you feel, how you react. They want the result to be that you chase, chase, chase. And how many times has that happened with a person with whom you've had this ha this kind of silent treatment? Why won't you talk to me? And what's the matter? And why don't you, I, you haven't talked to me all day? And sometimes it can be someone that cuts you out of their life, holds a grudge. That's a silent treatment. It's a long one, but it's a silent treatment. And that is for manipulation. What I'd like to explain to you is, please don't take it personally. As with most, mo try to say that. As with most things with a narcissist, they, this is about them. Anyone who chooses to decide not to talk to somebody, they're trying to make a point. They're trying to make you come after them. They're trying to prove to you and everybody around them and themselves, I'm right, see, I'm da 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 And if you're in a relationship with someone and it's a day-to-day -day thing and they're pulling that silent treatment, it's the same thing. It's manipulation and control. They want to control how do you feel. They want to make you uneasy. They want to make you notice they're not talking to you. They want to make you wonder what you did wrong. They want to make... Don't internalize it. Anyone, I'm going to say this really, 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 really slowly. Anyone who decides to stop talking to another human being rather than healthfully and healthily expressing themselves through communication is unsound. And they tell you to leave those people if it persists. They, you know, I've watched, that's what this video was born out of. I watched so many videos. They tell you, you need to leave. Don't try to reason with them. Don't try to take it personally. Don't try to make your point to them. And I don't just say just to not give them what they want because that is what they want for you to clamor after them and apologize to them and say, oh, you're right. Maybe I was a little too this. You had a right not to talk to me. You guys, the emotional toll on your, pardon me, your mental health when somebody just stops talking to you that you're supposed to be in some kind of relationship with, friend, family, business partner, romantic partner, doesn't matter. That's supposed to be a relationship. Think about yourself. What would it take for you to stop talking to someone? And if I did stop talking to someone, then that means I'm done, like that's done. I would never use it as a tactic in a relationship that I have to gain power and manipulation and control over the other human. If I have an issue with you, I'm going to say it and communicate about it until it's over. Not just, that's how much you meant to me, I'm just not gonna even talk about it and I'm not gonna talk to you all day or for a week or a month or a year. Or... Who does that? A dysfunctional person does that. That quality in a person, I, will tell you is dysfunctional. I don't care what their reason is. I don't care what their point is. Silent treatment, grudge holding is the Mac Daddy of silent treatment, isn't it? I've seen people not talk for 10 years over the dumbest thing. And then you ask them and they can't even remember. So did that make any sense? So who was trying to stand on what ground and then you just let a relationship dissipate over something so dumb? Yes, they will and they will make you suffer over something so dumb. It has nothing to do, stop thinking about what did you do, stop thinking about, oh, I could have done this better, let me walk around eggshells, we don't disturb the narcissist. No, 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 never mind eggshells, you stomped through the house, you didn't do anything. The dysfunction is theirs, I don't care what they have to say. So right now, one of them might pipe, pipe in. I, I always picture people around me, <laughs> So somebody might pipe in and go, hey, wait a minute, I held a grudge because my so-and-so did this. It's dumb. It's dumb. How about, hey, you did this to me, da ba 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 That's healthy, right? So the silent treatment is their choice to act out in a 
very unhealthy way. What you can do is not engage and set boundaries. Because if they ever, say this is a relationship and your partner held a grudge, like, I don't know, all weekend. And now tomorrow he's gonna wake up, everything's gonna be fine, he's gonna talk to you like there's nothing. Let me tell you something, there should be consequences when someone poses the silent treatment. Like, oh, I'm sorry, and I don't mean like punishing or anything like this, but in other words, I'm sorry, so now you're ready. So now you're ready, Monday at 8 a.m., you're ready, but Friday night you weren't ready, Saturday over coffee you weren't ready, Saturday night you weren't coffee, year seven, eight, and nine you weren't ready, but now you're ready and you want me to just jump to it? If somebody has a silent treatment, I think that what they do to get back to talk to you should be commensurate with how much time and how much they put you through during that time. Like I have people in my life that, you know, you, have, you go through stages and somebody might cut you off or you stop talking or you do this. It would take 480 attempts to even get me to respond. I'm sorry. I don't like that in a person. I've decided there's not going to be a makeup. I've decided. I don't like that quality in a person. So if I've seen it in someone again and again and again to me, to many other people. So that's a quality you have. That's a a thing you do. That's your go-to move. Stop talking to somebody. Why do I want a person in my life like that? So I could burp wrong and then suddenly you're going to stop talking to me again and again and again and again and again. Or I may have already seen it again and again and again and again and again. You have to decide what your consequence is going to be. Are you going to let them right back in and start talking to you like nothing's wrong? Or do you feel justified in saying, um, I'm not really comfortable with the fact that you chose to alienate me and not talk to me. And I know you were trying to make your point and I don't know how much you're going to say. They say don't confront these people. But when they also say you have to make them have a consequence, you have to decide what that is. And I'm telling you, they say if somebody does this again and again and again, that you should exit their life. That's what they say. Break off ties if you must. If they absolutely, if you keep seeing this as a pattern in a person and they go, this is their go-to move, silent treatment, that is still abusive, you guys. Just because it's not name calling, just, oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm not talking to them. I haven't said a word. But somebody reaches out to you and you don't reach back. Somebody calls across the room, are you not talking to me today? And they sit there silently through dinner, through the weekend, through a wedding, through a birthday celebration. It's cruel and unusual punishment. It's very cruel to do. And I just feel like a consequence could be that you ignore them if they start to reach out to you. And, and you don't even engage. They should, somebody should apologize to you if they've done a silent treatment. It's not just, oh, they're coming out of their haze. Let's all go back to normal. No, that's an, apo that is an apology type situation. Block them if you have to. Leave the room or the house if they're in the house and they're trying to chase you around to make you talk to them now because they've given you the side. You have a right to not be ready. Now it's on your turf, grounds, court ball in your court you know what i'm saying but i'm not trying to cause a fight between you and whoever i am trying to point out don't just be you know because oftentimes i've seen it people are like oh thank god he's not talking to me all weekend because they find that to be like a relief from the normal pattern of abuse that's outward and vocal and more covert silent treatment is abuse too you guys it is absolutely cruel to leave someone wondering as to what they're thinking about you when you are supposed to be in some kind of a relationship, any one of the relationships that you could possibly be in. Friend, fit, like I said, it's not nice. It should have consequences. You shouldn't have to put up with it and just deal now that they're out of it. You have a right to say, you know what? I don't like that quality in you. I see, I've seen it over and over again. I don't want a person in my life who doesn't have communication skills, I just don't. Now, if somebody's going through something and I make a new friend or somebody has pro and they're like, can you teach me, I'm having it, that's one thing. But you just cut people off left and right, I've seen it repeatedly in your life, and you don't see yourself as a toxic person, you just cut people off. I'm fascinated, I'm fascinated by that. And that's where I said, why do bad people do bad things? I'm continually fascinated that they don't see that their behavior is so, problematic, immature, dysfunctional, and disordered. 
They just think that that's normal, that you go through life and you do silent treatments to people. You think that that's a normal way to behave. And let's not use the word normal because what does normal mean? You think that's a healthy way to behave? No discourse, just silent treatment? I want you guys with your eyes open when you see this because it is not nice. And don't take it lightly. Oh, he's just quiet this weekend. No, if it's silent treatment, it's a big deal. And you should see it as such. I'm not telling you to go cause a fight. I'm not trying to incite, incite any kind of anything with anybody, but I am trying to let you know that you have every right in the world to be miffed, to have a consequence for them if they come out of it and they're still in your life, to have a, a stop time on it, to use Dale Carnegie's expression, stop time, I'm not dealing with it anymore. What do you mean? I don't, I don't care if you come back. I don't like that quality in a person. You have a right to make those decisions for yourself. Thank you for listening, you guys. I'll see you next time.